Attorneys representing a physician assistant who was fired say University of Michigan Health West violated her religious rights when she refused to provide referrals to gender reassignment surgeries. News 8's Kyle Mitchell is in the newsroom with what she's alleging and the response from the hospital system. Kyle? Brian, the former employee's attorney says that she was treated unfairly and her rights were violated. The case was filed just yesterday with the federal court in Grand Rapids. U of M Health West is facing a new lawsuit from a woman who worked there for 17 years. My client is Valerie Klosterman. She is a wonderful physician assistant. Attorney Kayla Tony says her client's religious rights. She's a strong Christian. She's very involved in her local church. And First Amendment rights were violated after the hospital system became part of the University of Michigan Health System and she was required to go through diversity and inclusion training. When she raised um, some questions with HR about this training and asked for a religious accommodation. Um, they insulted her religious beliefs. They called her evil. They tried to pressure her into um, violating her beliefs more by referring patients for sex altering surgeries and drugs. Tony says her client's free speech rights were violated by the hospital system requiring the use of certain pronouns. The free speech claim comes in where they wanted her to use pronouns that conflicted with human biology um, and compelling her to speak those pronouns um, not only violated her faith but also her medical judgment. The complaint alleges the hospital responded by calling her evil and stating that she would be adding to gender dysphoria related suicides. Professor Michael McDaniel with Cooley Law School says the physician's assistant has an uphill battle and that the cases cited in the complaint are different from what happened here. And the entire purpose of the First Amendment uh, whether we're talking about the free speech clause or the free exercise clause, the entire purpose of the First Amendment was to assure tolerance of others, um, that not only do we get to, to speak what we believe to be our truths and our beliefs, but others get to do so as well, and that we're not going to punish others. So uh, the University of Michigan Hospital was uh, following a policy, it appears, of uh, embracing and, and permitting all to the hospital. And the hospital system declined an interview but did send us a brief statement saying that they're committed to caring for all patients while also respecting the religious beliefs of their employees. In the newsroom, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.